What is up guys, welcome back to a new video. So I'm pretty sure y'all have heard of Honest Abe. Well, I'm Honest Mauricio because this video was gonna get trash. Like I was gonna go ahead and just scrap it, not even post it or anything, but then I was like, bro, I can put some commentary and make it a little bit more palatable so you can watch it and actually enjoy this. And I actually wanna just post it because why not? <laughs> so that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy me being sick out of town on my freaking birthday vacation. Not only did Hurricane Barrel ruin my birthday, but also this damn sickness ruined it, man. I hate it. What is up, guys? We are currently in, you guessed it, San Antonio, Texas, man. I swear I can never get out of this freaking city. I'm kind of disappointed because I was supposed to go to Houston. Here's the thing. I was going to go to Houston, but since the whole hurricane uh, barrel, hurricane barrel thing happened, um, I decided to come here. So this is like part of my birthday trip, man, and I'm excited. Believe it or not, but your boy's actually here alone. Um, I actually have a cousin that's in town and we might meet up, we might not. I'm still waiting for confirmation, but it is still cool. I'm still gonna have fun. I'm just gonna go out. I I wanted to come out here as well because I do need to go shopping. I need some more clothes. I feel like I wear the same thing all the time. So that being said, let's go. Let's go have some dinner. I haven't ate anything and uh, yeah. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna see what else there is to do. Um, it is kind of weird whenever you're alone because you really can't do anything. It's kind of weird, bro. Like, you, you know what I mean. It's weird, but we're still gonna have fun. That's not gonna, that's not gonna stop us from anything. So let's go. As y'all can tell in that clip that y'all just saw, I was so freaking excited to hit the streets of San Antonio. But the problem is that I was like already starting to feel a little weird and I was still feeling good. So I went with my cousins and we were, everything was fine. Everything was dandy and I just started feeling weirder and weirder as the day progressed. Yo, what's up guys? So we just got back from dinner. I hung out with my cousin and her kids for like a little bit. And bro, I'm not even making this up. I think I'm getting sick. Um, today's literally night one, bro. And uh, it wasn't supposed to end like this. Literally, I wasn't gonna be, I wasn't supposed to be feeling like this, bro. I feel so sick. I feel so weird, bro. I feel like feverish, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna watch TV relax, bro, and this is like the worst thing ever, bro. I don't know why I get sick, bro. My freaking luck, and today I got stung, I got stung. I got bit by two spiders, bro, whenever I was packing for on the way over here. So yeah, luckily I had some medication in my truck and I took it, and here we are, bro. <laughs> just feels so sick, bro, like, this is so annoying, but it is what it is. This is what we wanted, man. Why does it have to happen like this, bro? I swear my freaking luck, bro. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hopefully I feel better. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of feel like I have COVID. It's currently the next day, I feel a little bit better. Still feel a little sick, but it's okay. Um, I feel like I got a little bit better. So the whole plan today is to like really eat healthy and continue on with the day. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna hit up my cousin anymore because I don't wanna get her kids sick. So that being said, that's what we're freaking doing right now. And then right now I'm going back to my room because I freaking forgot to put this Do Not Disturb sticker on there. And I don't want people going in my room. <coughs> Dude, my cough is so freaking bad. Like you can just hear, like little baby has some lyrics that go like, you can hear the money in my voice. You can hear the phlegms in my voice, bro. This is horrible, I swear. Dude, it smells like baby powder in here, bro. Like did they change a diaper in here? What's up? Dude, freaking stinks. But anyway, first mission, go get some freaking breakfast. And then we go to the grocery store and buy a little bit of groceries so it can hold me up and I don't have to spend that much money. So that's the whole plan. As of now, we're gonna come back up here. And it sucks because everything food wise is freaking closed here. As the day progressed, I pushed through. I went to go shopping. I went to go buy this nice like shirt. Then I bought some pants from Buckle. I love those pants. They are so nice and they're freaking snug. And I don't know, they're just the, pe the best pants ever. So that being said, that's something successful that I did. I went shopping. I actually went to go eat. I went to the trade center over there and it was just amazing. It was a fun time. I actually got to see my cousins again because uh, she said she didn't care if I had COVID or if I didn't have COVID and I just had a fever. And at this point, I didn't even know what I freaking had. <laughs> Okay, so I know that you see me like at a spa looking place, but I need to explain exactly what I was doing. And the reason I have to explain is because it looks just so weird. Like I'm just blue and you don't even know what the hell I'm doing and I'm literally taking a shower in this footage. So um, pretty much what I was doing, I went to a deprivation tank that my mom um, had purchased for me. And whenever I went in there, they said that they was gonna help you relax and everything. And my experience was like pretty cool. I actually fell asleep. And the funny thing is that like I started like like, like if I was drowning, you know what I mean? So the cool thing is that like the salt, I think, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, it like makes you float. 
And whenever you're floating there, it's supposed to like ease anxiety, muscle tension and all these things. So whenever I was there, I mean, I had, I had fun. I really appreciated what I was doing. But at the same time, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I didn't get the whole like experience because yes i was a little under the weather at this time i didn't have covid i just had like little symptoms the funny thing is that this place when i went to they said that when the music stops and the light turns off that pretty much that means that the session's over so i got out and as soon as i got out the music started again so i had already taken a shower and i was getting out the door and all the doors were shut all the lights were off and i was like is it still going like am i still supposed to be in the pool so I went back to the freaking little pod. I didn't even go back inside the pod. I just stayed in my room on the freaking bench on TikTok the whole time, dude. So I didn't get the full experience because I guess maybe I didn't pay attention to the instructions, but I could have sworn that's what the lady had told me. Now the big question is, would you ever do this again? Yes, I would definitely do this again, but I'm going to be hoping to God that I actually do it the correct way because whatever way I did it, I just, I don't know, I'm pissed and that I didn't get the good experience, but at the same time, I did do the oxygen tank though, and they put you basically like connected to this thing, and um, I picked orange flavor, and it was so delicious, dude. I was in there for like 20 minutes, and I just remember having that thing in my nostrils, and I felt a little bit more like energetic, and like I just felt like, um, what is it called like more mental clarity i guess and i feel like that for me worked way more than the pod but at the same time i did the pod incorrectly other than that the only thing that i could say is that joe rogan recommends it i think i've never heard him talk about it but i did see on the thing that if the joe rogan podcast is the reason why i went and i said sure i guess if joe rogan says He's always right, so let's go. <laughs> but in all seriousness, if you've done this before, please leave a comment down below and let me know how your experience went, please. I've done so much that I haven't even documented anything. The reason why is because honestly, I feel like complete dog shit. Um, like I literally just woke up from a two hour nap. It's currently 12 a.m. And <coughs> I'm like getting sicker by the minute, bro. Like I honestly don't feel good. And I'm just like, I'm getting really bad body aches and I need to take my medication. But the problem is that I don't want to take my medication yet without eating. So I'm gonna go get something to eat. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's science, baby. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I need some food. I don't know, bro. Like, it just sucks. It just really, really sucks to be feeling like this. Especially like whenever you're supposed to be like on a vacation, birthday trip, everything. It's just so annoying, bro. Like I've been feeling like crap all day. I literally left like at what, like, 11.50 or something like that. Bro, it is currently 1.20 and I just got water burger. Like, I like was walking, everything was closed here in the river walk. And after that, I was waiting for my truck. By the time I got my truck, it was like a whole like 30 minutes later. Um, I don't know why they were taking so long, but then bro, I got water burger and I went through this like college like place. And I was like, bro, are you serious? Like your boy is freaking sick. I need to like get this water burger in my life, bro. Because like, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes greasy food makes you feel better. Uh, definitely doesn't make you feel better the next day, but it makes you feel better. <laughs> that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. Just to better explain how stressed out I was at this time, it was 12 a.m. I was walking around downtown by myself, literally just with some shorts on. And bro, I was going through the streets walking and there was people going to the clubs. And I, well, not only did I have shorts on, I actually had a shirt on too. But after I did that, bro, like it was just horrible. I, I just remember all these people were just kind of like looking at me. They're like, man, this man's going to pull up to the club like that. And yeah, it's just so embarrassing, bro. But then I never found food because they closed all the restaurants like around 11 o'clock. And then finally, whenever I received my truck, I try to get some food. And oh, man, it just the experience sucked because then there's only two people in front of me. And I didn't get my food till like 20 minutes later. So... The whole total of this trip of trying to get food was just the longest that I've ever had. It freaking sucked. As y'all can tell in the video, I told y'all how long it was. And it's just so stupid. Like, I, I can't believe I went through that. And believe it or not, since I was sick, I didn't even finish all the food. I spent like 20 bucks for no reason. So at this point, I'm actually back home. And I didn't have COVID whenever I was sick because I did a test in San Antonio. But I ended up getting COVID right when I got back. Like, I guess maybe it was already in my system and it was slowly building up. But that being said, my cousins are fine. They didn't get sick or anything. But at the time that I was roaming the streets, maskless in San Antonio, we're fine. I'm pretty sure I didn't infect anybody. I didn't even talk to anybody at that point. So we're good. And I hope you all enjoyed this vacation video. And you all appreciate the, the tropical vibes I gave you. Yeah, sorry, guys. This, this video, if it didn't have my commentary, it would have been very, very, like... 
like so freaking plain because I wasn't able, bro, I found food trucks that I wanted to go to. I found different events that I wanted to go to and I wasn't even able to go, bro. I'm so pissed off. Like you don't understand, bro. I had this trip planned to the T.